Good afternoon. I'm Congressman Robert Pittenger from North Carolina's 9th Congressional District. Last week, the Financial Services Committee approved six bills to reform the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Contrary to what my friends on the other side of the aisle said during the markup, those reform bills will not hinder the CFPB's authority to write rules or to enforce federal consumer financial laws. What they will do is safeguard Americans' privacy and access to affordable credit by applying our nation's time-tested system of checks and balances to CFPB. These reform measures are important because we've already started to see the Bureau's actions harming the very consumers it was created to protect. In its brief three-year history, the CFPB has already severely restricted consumer choice in the mortgage market by granting legal protections to some types of favored financial transactions, but not others. Abused its power by collecting private financial data on millions of Americans without their knowledge or their consent. Spent its bottomless budget on extraordinary salaries and lavish office upgrades. And has entangled itself in significant conflicts of interest with former employees who are now cashing in on the rules they themselves helped to write. This warped view of consumer protection isn't what Congress intended and it most certainly isn't what the American people deserve. Real consumer protection puts power where it belongs, in the hands of capable consumers, not bureaucrats in a distant capital. The bottom line is that you don't protect consumers by taking away their right to make choices about what products and services may be best for their family situation. You don't protect consumers by snooping on their financial history or wasting their tax dollars. And you don't protect consumers when you give a single, unelected, unaccountable bureaucrat in Washington the power to decide what financial products and services they can and cannot have. To learn more about the CFPB, visit financialservices.house.gov. Thanks for watching.